Two brothers connected to a quadruple murder on Indy's northeast side in 2020 have been sentenced to 220 years in prison. Fox 59's Kaylee Schuyler spoke with two of the victims' mothers who say this news is bittersweet. He has always been happy. I kind of think we rely on each other. Oh, this one is my favorite. He, he like wearing suits. Kimberly Roberts and Kendra Ford only have memories left of their sons. This is the picture that I love the most. Jalen Roberts and Braxton Ford were both killed in February of 2020 in a quadruple murder. The other victims shot and killed were Kamari Hunt and Marcel Willis. Friday, two of the shooters, Cameron and Desmond Banks, learning their fate. 220 years is a lot of time, but it does not bring back the lives of our children. Police say the two brothers and two other suspects, LaShawn Watkins and Rod Reese Anderson, ransacked an apartment on the northeast side after shooting more than 50 rounds, fleeing with duffel bags full of stolen items and cleaning out a safe. The brothers facing life in prison, but the mothers say two wrongs don't make a right. It's sad having to face the perpetrators, knowing that they were young also, and they have to spend the rest of their life in prison for something that they had the choice to do. Anderson is up next on Monday, April 3rd. In a plea deal, he confessed to police that he was a getaway driver and waited in the car while the others went inside the home and killed the four victims. LaShawn Watkins will be the last to learn his sentence on April 28th. Now, our kid's life has been taken away from them and we can't see nor hear them again, but you guys have to go face being locked up 23 hours a day. In Indianapolis, Kaylee Schuyler, Fox 59 News. Both moms are urging parents to make sure you know what's happening in your kid's life and to always get to know their friends. Well, tonight, two people.